Hi everyone, this is Pasha. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to create a campaign on Google Ads from the scratch to the end. The campaign that I'm going to create is for my personal website and my purpose uh, is to get leads from Google Ads to run campaigns, advertising campaigns for businesses. So let's start. To create the campaign, before starting creating the campaign, the first thing that I need to do is to create a conversion actions. So to track uh, the leads that are coming from Google Ads, I have two form on my uh, two forms on my website: one on the bottom of home page and another one on contact us page. And I need to track the leads that are uh, filled through uh, clicking on Google Ads campaign. So let's uh, do that. To create a conversion action, I go to the tools, uh, measurement, conversions. New conversion action. I want to track conversions on my website. So I click websites, website domain. I need to provide uh, Google with my domain. Scan. Now I click on add a conversion action manually. Select a category. Uh, the most related one probably submit lead form makes sense. So I select that one. For the name, I can uh, give a name, uh, the same name, submit lead form. For the value, I'm not going to use a value for this conversion action, so I, use, I select don't use a value for this. Count, uh, I select one. This means that if somebody clicks on my ad and fills the form two times, uh, Google will only count it, uh, record it as one conversion, not two uh, conversions. So I select one. Uh, for the rest, I click through conversion window and others I go with the default option for the attribution. Uh, I can select either data driven or last click. Uh, data driven is fine and I press done. Now after setting up the conversion action, I press on save and continue. Now I need to install the tag on my website. I have three options and I use the last one, Google Tag Manager. And this conversion ID is one that I need to use. Uh, to use Google Tag Manager to install my tag on my website, I go to Google Tag Manager. I use the related container for my website. Before creating a tag and trigger for the conversion action that I just created, first I need to create a conversion linker to uh, install it on the all pages on my website. To do so, I click on tag, I create new, uh, name it conversion linker to tag configura configuration, um, I select, uh, actually for the trigger, I select all pages, page view and tag configuration, I select conversion linker. So this should work. I save that. Now I can start creating the related tag and trigger for any conversion action that I need uh, and on my Google Ads, I go to trigger, create a new trigger, uh, call it uh, the same name as my conversion action, submit a lead form, choose a trigger, uh, I select a form submission all forms I'm on the website because all the forms are the same and I save this. Now I go to tag, doing similar thing, 
creating a tag, naming it. Uh, what was the name? I forgot. Submit link lead form if I uh, remember correctly. Uh, for the tag configuration, I select Google Ads conversion tracking, conversion ID. This is where I need to get uh, the conversion ID from my Google Ads. For the conversion label, it's not necessarily what I now give this one, submit lead form uh, as label, conversion label. Uh, this is fine. And now I need to select the related trigger that I just created, uh, submit lead form, save. Now I have a trigger that anybody uh, who fills a form, any form on my website, it will trigger uh, it will trigger that one and then a tag that is connected to that trigger and now I need to test this conversion action to make sure that it works I click on preview uh, I should give my website here my website domain URL is already there I press on connect it opens my website as a preview. So I can test my tag. I press on continue. Right now, as you see, there's not any tag found. I need to submit one form to make sure that uh, the conversion, uh, the tag manager is working correctly, the tag and trigger that I just created. Uh, I'm just submitting one it says thanks for submitting and yes as you see two tags are fired one is conversion linker uh, that I first created and is necessarily necessary for all the tags on my tag manager and the second one related to the conversion action with that we just created submit lead form so this tells me that uh, the tag that I just created in Google ads works correctly so i'm done with uh, google tag manager at the moment i'm going to close this going back to google ads Now I need to come up with keywords and ad groups for my campaign. Uh, I don't think that the keywords are, uh, I need too many keywords and ad groups for this campaign because uh, it's pretty clear what people search to, uh, what my potential customers are going to search to reach my website and uh, find me. So I go to keyword planner. There are many, many tools to do keyboard research. This is not a complete tutorial on uh, doing keyboard research for Google ads. It really depends on the business and campaigns, what uh, you need to use. But uh, this is a simple one that I'm going to use. And uh, for this campaign uh, that I believe it would be enough for me, discover new keywords. Uh, I, uh, for my website, let's put Google ads a specialist to see what keywords uh, will be uh, suggested. And in the location, I'm going to run this campaign in the country that I'm located, Canada. I press on get results. I'm actually going to uh, turn off my webcam uh, so you can see the whole page uh, easily. So I put a sample keyword for Google Ads. It gave me some suggestions. And let me download them. I Because this uh, Google, this uh, account, I don't have any historical data. It's pretty new account, Google Ads account. The data that I get in Keyword uh, Planner, I don't think that it will be 
complete data. Uh, I've noticed that Google Ads usually give more data in the keyboard planner if you have more historical data in your Google Ads and you have already used it for running campaigns. Uh, I download keywords ideas. I can do download either as a CSV or export it to Google Sheet. I select CSV. Opening the file. I'm waiting for the file to open. Here it is. Hmm, uh, removing the first two uh, rows. Uh, if you are running many keywords, you have many keywords that you want to target, it's good to pay attention to the average monthly search and all this data. But honestly, for my campaign, I don't think that they are necessary because I'm not going to use too many keywords. So I remove all the extra columns that I don't need. Currency. Now uh, uh, these keywords, uh, I'm going to select which keywords I want to use. Uh, Google Ads especially is first, uh, let's create my ad group. Uh, the first ad groups that I want to use is naming it as Google Ads Specialist. Uh, this is just the keyword research that I'm doing in a, a spreadsheet. And hmm, I'm going to select the keywords that I want uh, on my uh, Ad group Google Ads uh, specialist. I already have one keyword for Google Ads specialist, so I don't I don't think that it it makes any difference if I select specialist Google Ads because if anybody search this one this search term specialist Google Ads, uh, my ads should. Uh, should be part of the auction anyway uh, for the keyword Google Ads Specialist. So I'm not using that. Hmm. Upwork and Fever uh, or Fiverr, honestly, I don't know the correct pronunciation. Uh, I, I use them in a separate ad group. I call that Google Ads uh, Freelancing Site. This is the ad group that I want to use. For this freelancing website, I want to use those keywords in a separate ad group. Google Ads Campaign Specialist, Google Advertising Specialist, Google PPC Specialist. Again, Google Ads Specialist of Upwork. I have similar one, Upwork, Google Ads Specialist. So there's no use to use this one. Uh, some of them like becoming in Google Ads specialist. They seem to be mostly for the people who are interested to get into Google Ads and uh, become a specialist, not somebody who is uh, looking for a specialist to run campaigns for them. PPC Ads specialist that could be useful too. Uh, for PPC Ads specialist, uh, maybe the the best thing is to put it in a separate ad group because it doesn't have the word Google in that, but. Uh, because their search volume is not too many, I'm not going to create a, one ad group for this one. There's no point in that. I'm just merging that for other keywords. And for the rest, I don't see anything uh, interesting that I'm not already using. I think this one, these ones are enough. So uh, I'm removing these ones. Right now I have two ad groups with a bunch of keywords, one for Google Ads Specialist, one for uh, freelancing websites, Google Ads Specialist. Uh, let's uh, look for more, more keywords, Google Ads, let's say freelancer. Mm, there are some uh, keywords here, I'm going to download them again.
uh, I'm going to move all those new keywords in my previous spreadsheet uh, let's put them in the first uh, columns and then come up with more keywords and ad groups for my campaigns okay these are my previous ad groups uh, now let's create an ad group for google ads freelancer mm, google ads freelancer freelance google ads Uh, this could be a tricky ad group because maybe some people who some other freelancers are going to search uh, these uh, keywords to find clients for them so uh, this might not be really a great keyword for me but on the uh, other hand some businesses might search this keyword Google Ads freelancer to find freelancer for their business so this is the only way to figure out is just to run them to test them to see uh how they will work for my purpose google ads a specialist freelance and i am going to select all of them again i have a website like upwork i'm going to uh, put them mm, in the separate ad group uh this time mm, i call them uh how can i uh, separate these two naming these are for google ads specialist freelancing sites these are for google ads freelancer freelancing sites i can mm. Okay, let's uh, rename it as this freelancing sites a specialist and this this one I will call that freelancing sites freelancer keywords so I can differentiate between these two uh, type of keywords I can probably put them in the same ad group too because not so much uh, so many uh, search volume but let's start with separate ad groups i can now change this one google ads freelancer near me freelancer adwords uh, a lot of people still search for adwords instead of google ads uh, adwords is the old older name of google ads that uh, google has changed a few for a few years to google ads uh, but still a lot of people are still know that as Google AdWords Expert Google AdWords freelance this could be a good one Some of them like accounting firm PPC advertiser freelancer or SaaS Google Ads freelancer. Yeah, this one would be a good one CPA Google Ads freelancer Honestly, I don't know what it means uh, CPA Google Ads freelancer. Maybe uh, it's for accounting purposes Mm. okay right now I have four uh, ad groups with a bunch of keywords the last keywords that I need probably is searching for digital marketing freelancer let's see what keywords Google suggests to me downloading the list again moving all these keywords uh, to my previous spreadsheet so I can easily uh, work on with in one spreadsheet mm, must be the first one uh, 
Uh, this is something that I really do not like about Windows 11 uh, uh, operating system. It doesn't let me uh, see each uh, tab of uh, the same uh, application in a different tab. Uh, it doesn't have, by default, it combines all the tabs from Excel into one and to see the preview, to see what is what, I just need to spend more time. I used to do it uh, to separate all the tabs uh, in the previous version of Windows, uh, Windows 10, but I honestly don't know how to do that in Windows 11 and I'm not sure even if it is possible. Uh, closing uh, my extra spreadsheets to make things easier for myself. Okay, now let's come up with more uh, keywords for um, digital marketing specialist, digital marketing freelancer. Uh, digital marketing could involve other uh, types of uh, marketing, it could come contain content marketing, SEO. So the intention of somebody who search for this might be different. They might they might not necessarily look for a Google Ads specialist, but I think it's worth testing for me because uh, paid ads is an important part of digital digital marketing. So if somebody searches for digital marketing, uh, it's possible that they might need uh, a paid ads specialist. I have more uh, web key keywords here for digital marketing, uh, uh, freelancing websites. Mm. So you know what, I'm going to merge all the keywords from uh, freelancer and specialist freelancing sites into one ad group. I don't want to, to have too many ad groups for freelancing sites and I can put digital uh, marketing keywords in another ad group. Hmm. Something that I forgot to do at the beginning, zoom a little in my spreadsheet so uh, the text is not too small on the, on the uh, screen for you. Uh, freelance online marketing. Uh, the name of the ad group, I, uh, I name it as digital marketing freelancer. Freelancing websites for digital marketing. Someone tells me that, uh, something tells me that when someone searches uh, for this, uh, they might be looking for freelancing uh, to, free, to, do, to provide freelancing services for business, not necessarily a business who are looking for freelancer. But I could be wrong, maybe so a business searches for this keyword too. Digital marketing freelancer work, marketer freelance. Uh, social media marketing that I don't want. Okay, I think that's enough for me. Hmm. Right now I have five uh, keywords, uh, five ad groups with a bunch of keywords. One more thing that I could do is just search on uh, Google to see if Google provides me with any more suggestions here. Become a Google Ads Specialist, Google Ads Specialist, Certification Free, uh, Certification Jobs, so no, none of them are useful for me. What about Freelancer? Uh, Google Ads Specialist Salary, Google Ads Specialist Upwork, Hire Google Ads Expert. Mm, yeah, I can use this one, Hire Google Ads Expert maybe in my first ad group. 
I don't have the word specialist, uh, a little different from other keywords in this ad group. I try to uh, create my ad groups based on theme and similarity. This one, at least the words are a little different, but I'm not going to create a separate ad group for just one keyword that probably has low search volume. And I'm hoping that Google Ads can understand that specialist and expert almost uh, are almost the same word, the same intention. Uh, this one, I think I already have it. Yes, I do. So yeah, I'm uh, already fine with this uh, keyboard. I think for my purpose, for my campaign, uh, these are already enough. I don't need to, uh, to look for more keywords, at least at the beginning, after some time, if I feel that my campaign is not spending enough, which I highly doubt it, I can start looking for more keywords. Now I uh, I set up my conversion action, I set up my keywords and let's create the ads, the headlines and descriptions. Mm. For headlines, for responsive search ads, I usually that try to come up uh, with different categories of headlines. I mean, some headlines related to my keywords for each ad group, and some headlines are like uh, to be specifically called to action, some headlines to be UPS, unique proposition, uh, uh, um, uh, I forgot what the word stands for, and uh, unique value proposition or maybe unique proposition value unique selling proposition if i remember correctly and let's create come up with some headlines as i said this is just a draft sheet for myself i'm not going to use this in the process of uploading campaign i'm just going to make things simple uh, easy for myself in a simple in a simple spreadsheet because uh this campaign is pretty small mm. Uh, I'm writing headlines now. Some headlines for myself. Uh, keyword related. And first I need to count how many uh, characters each uh, headline is because uh, the maximum limit for headlines is 30 characters. So the first one, Google Ads Specialist. As a headline. And uh, for the rest, I can write, okay, this one probably I can change it to certified. Google Ads Specialist. It already contains many of the uh, keywords in this ad group. Uh, for mm, it's actually uh, one character extra. So what I can do, I can change it to certified Google Ads expert, maybe other headlines that I can come up with. I can use my own name as a brand. Hamid Pasha adds a specialist. It's 28 characters, good enough. Google PPC specialist. Uh, maybe Google paid ads specialist. 26 characters, good. Uh, Google advertising specialist, 29 characters. A lot of these keywords are, are headlines are very similar, but I'm, uh, I would prefer, you know, to change this, uh, some parts of the word, for example, paid ads to PPC to advertising. So depending on a uh, search term of the user, my headline or my ad uh, might might be more close to what this uh, ad, the, what the user has searched. So that increases my chances of 
winning the auction or having lower CPC and maybe one for campaign Google Ads campaign specialist you know, this is right 30 characters and uh, one uh, usually I use a separate uh, generally uh, it's the best practice to use separate ads for each ad group but uh because my ad groups the keywords are very similar uh they are interchangeable maybe i will use the same ad across all ad groups mm, so i'm going to add another word for another headline related to freelancing ad group instead of a specialist like uh, expert google ads freelancer Mm, it's 28 characters uh, which makes sense to me so this headline is more similar uh, more related to this ad group ad group C Google Ads uh, in column C Google Ads freelancer uh, but uh, doesn't mean that I shouldn't really use these headlines because uh, if somebody looking for freelancer these headlines a specialist uh, uh, could uh, catch their attention and and I don't think that I'm allowed to use uh, this uh, uh, company names up work in my uh, headlines so I'm not going to write ads for them headlines for them uh, separate headlines for them I'm going to use the same ad and to be honest I'm not even sure if I am, I am allowed to use, do, uh, use the words Google ads in my headlines uh, maybe it is a trademark of Google, so Google doesn't allow uh, other advertisers to use that uh, depending on the situation and country and location. Uh, if I upload uh, the ads, the campaign and they, uh, my ads get it rejected because of uh, trademark using the word Google or Google Ads, I might need to change all my Google Ads words to something like PPC or paid ads and remove the extra ones. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, usually I come with different uh, um, headline categories for my RSAs. I uh, wrote enough headlines for my um, keywords, and now let's write uh, some as CTA call to action and unique val uh, proposition value and I write it as value what value I'm going to add uh, to offer to the clients um, again counting the link character limit and let's uh, for value let's say get the best results uh, which actually is a kind of a call to action too so you know what for this campaign i'm uh, for this uh, campaign yeah i'm going to remove cta and just uh, use them the same as uh, unique value proposition uh, other ones that i can uh, write hmm. uh, maybe add specialist for smes uh, a small and medium enterprise businesses because I highly doubt if a large business uh, comes to look for a freelancer they uh, generally work for avid agencies or they have in their in-house marketing team so usually a small or medium business look for a, a specialist or freelancer on Google to run their ads uh, advertise like a pro maybe mm. uh, let's uh, do a simple Google search to see uh, what others are using AdWords freelancer that will actually grow your business uh, hire PPC expert hire PPC expert I can use that one too maybe uh, maybe not top google adwords expert uh, freelancer sp google ads uh, get uh, 
hire ecom google ads expert no jokes just hire roas ecom is a no joke but our roas is hilarious uh, pretty unique uh, description uh, none of them catch my attention really uh, now what i showed as what i did is just uh, for writing RSAs, it's al always a good uh, practice to look for your keywords on Google and see what uh, headlines, ads, other uh, businesses your competitors are using. That's why I search on Google. Mm, I can add something like uh, get high quality leads. Okay, so far I can use uh, up to 15 headlines. Uh, so far I have use 11 headlines uh, i think that's enough for the start i don't have to have all the 15 headlines so let's see how the campaign starts and then based on the data i can make adjustments to my ads keywords or anything okay now uh now i have uh, my headlines uh and my keywords and ad groups let's uh, uh create a format to upload everything into Google Ads use, using Google, Ad, Google uh, Ads Editor. I have uh, another complete uh, tutorial to uh, show how to work with uh, Google Ads Editor. Uh, if you are interested, if you want to learn how to do that, uh, you can refer to that video. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, quickly create a template to upload on my editor. I'm not going to create the campaign uh, directly on the platform. Uh, to be honest, I don't even remember the last time that I created a campaign on the platform. It's pretty time consuming for me. I always use editor to upload the campaign. Uh, now let's do this. Uh, I create a new uh, tab. I call it keywords. Mm, I need a campaign name for my template, ad group, keyboard, and match type. For the campaign, I mm, name it as, uh, I always tell people to have a good naming convention uh, when they uh, run Google Ads campaign in their account. Uh, right now I need to give it some time to come up with a good naming convention for my own account because this is the first time that I'm uh, run, I'm building a campaign for myself or uh, for my website. Uh, but for now I'm going to name it, uh, uh, let's say my website uh, and the date uh, the date of the months of creating the campaign. Right now we are in July uh, 2023. Or maybe I can add search to. Mm, I can remove the months. I don't really need the months. Uh, I'm not going to start a new campaign every month if I want to modify that, uh, modify the, the existing campaign. So my website, the website, uh, the website of the client, the type of the campaign, whether it is search, shopping, display, and the year. And uh, now uh, I'm adding the ad groups. This is my ad group name. I'm adding the keywords uh, for that ad group. Let's uh, do the other ad groups. Keywords for that ad group. I'm just uh, creating a template to upload my keywords, uh, ad groups and campaign to the Google Ads editor. My third ad group. my fourth ad group adding the keywords and 
and my last ad group digital marketing freelancer all right going once again because the the year has changed i need to be careful copy cells do not change in the year and uh, right now if i upload this uh i think all the keywords will be uploaded as a broad keyword that i really don't want it for this small campaign and not suitable for me so i need to give match type to my keywords uh, exact i'm not sure whether i should write exact match or exact i start with exact uh, let's see and hmm, maybe i can uh copy all of my keywords and just change the exact to phrase okay now what i did is just i created my exact keywords now i copied all my ad groups and keywords and just changed the exact match type to phrase i was thinking whether i should only start with exact match type because uh the campaign is pretty small uh, if i i'm going to launch it probably i launch it with only a very small budget uh so probably exact keyword might be enough for me but I, at the, on the other hand, I might not get enough search volume, so I decided to add phrase match type uh, to my keywords too. Okay, these are my keyword uh, ad group and campaign template, and now I'm creating the head, uh, headlines RSAs uh, campaign. Add group and headline. Headline one, headline two, three. Uh, let me see if I can do it like this. Yes, this works. I remember I had 11 headlines. Something that I also forgot is writing description. I should write some descriptions too. Let's do that. For descriptions, hmm. uh, let's just quickly uh, copy something uh, from Google. If it really fits me, use search marketing to outrank your competitors and funnel the right audience. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to actually launch this campaign, so uh i'm copying this just to show uh, the process but uh rest assured i'm not going to exactly use this copy i'm just uh, using that uh, as a sample uh i help you let's uh, make some changes outrank your competitors and funnel the right audience and let's see the length of this it shouldn't be more than 120 characters which is not or maybe one more than one nine yeah more than 90 characters sorry so right now it's a little uh, long uh, i help Okay, let's Okay, now it is 74 characters. Uh, I can use up to four descriptions, uh, but I think two descriptions in enough for me. Mm, this the other one, let's just write it by myself. Mm. Certified Google Ads a specialist a specialist. 
specialist to manage your search, shopping, and video campaigns. Uh, and here's 85 characters. Okay, good enough. Uh, I help you run search ads to outrank your competitors and get the best results. Certify Google as a specialist to manage your search, shopping, and video campaigns. These two are my descriptions. And uh, as I said, this, this is mostly a copy from another competitor. There's nothing wrong with using that, but I generally like to have uh, certainly a unique uh, keyboard, unique uh, headlines and description, even though I always get ideas and inspiration from competitor ads, but I'm not going to use the, exactly the same thing. This one, I just wanted to come up quickly with a description for my ads. And also uh, one tip is that to use that, uh, to write headlines and description and even uh, categorize your ad groups and keywords, uh, you can get help from uh, chat GPT too. For example, asking chat GPT for 15 headlines related to Google ads, especially. So you can get to use some of them. I don't see anything wrong with that. Sometimes it really gives good ideas. Okay, uh, campaign name, ad groups. Mm, let me uh, remove duplicates. Okay, these are my ad group names. Now headlines, as I said, uh, I think I, it's fine for me to use the same RSA across all ad groups because they are pretty similar and uh, it makes uh, my job easier too. I actually have 10, uh, no, 11 headlines, that's correct. Now I'm writing description one and description two. and copying everything to the uh, uh, below ad groups. Now I have almost everything ready. If I want to uh, pin any of the headlines, I can add something like uh, headline one position. Uh, for example, type one, it will always show this headline at the first position and Maybe I can do that for this one. Hamid Pasha adds a specialist as it's my, somehow my brand name. Uh, but no, I'm not going to pin any headline for this ads. And okay, right now I have key, my campaign, keyboard, ad group, and match type in one uh, tab. And I have my responsive search ads, headlines, and description in another tab. Now I'm ready to upload my campaign. Let's open Google Ads editor on my uh, laptop. It's an application that you need to install on your system. I think it opened here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this is another account. I need to find uh, the correct amount of the correct account. I think this one is the account that I'm right now working on. Closing the other one. Mm, let's double check the account ID are the same. Yeah. 
Uh, as I said, this is a pretty new account that I have created for the purpose of showing this video. So uh, right now there is nothing in my uh, editor, no account, no, no previous information. Let's just upload my campaign. I'm copying all the keyword and ad group. Uh, make multiple changes, my data includes. Okay, uh, one campaign added, five ad groups added, and 74 keywords added. I didn't count the keywords, but uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't say that it has skipped anything, I trust that it's adding all my keywords. Keep. Now let's add my RSA, responsive search ads, headlines and descriptions. I'm copying my headlines and descriptions and uploading them into editor. Uh, okay, there is something wrong because it says it added four campaigns. I don't want to add new campaigns. I already added more campaigns. Let's see what is wrong in my uh, template. Okay, this is the campaign name. Again, I need to be careful it doesn't change the uh, campaign name. Now it should be correct. Uh, let's do it again. It should add five uh, ads for me. No ad group and no campaign. Yes, it added five uh, responsive search ads. So everything's correct and all of them are uh, correct one. Uh, the, in the limit, there is nothing that exceeds the maximum length limit. I need to add my final URL first. I'm using my home page to all my ads. I could have added uh, a pass, maybe something like freelancer. Mm, my ads look correct, everything. Mm. Now there are some errors that I need to fix. My campaign, it needs a budget. Let's start with $50 a day. Uh, goal level settings, uh, yeah, account level probably makes sense. B, the strategy, uh, I haven't decided. I can use uh, manual CPC. No, not for manual CPC because I don't have any data. I don't know what CPC I should use at the start I can use target CPA or maybe maximize clicks so let's create a target CPA one I'm going to be the strategies to create a bid strategy for my campaign I call it target CPA. I can even use a budget here, a shared budget. I don't, uh, I rather I use everything in the same place. Uh, target CPA that I want to give, uh, let's say hmm, $200 CPA. Probably that's a reasonable amount for me, depending on the performance, whether the campaign is, uh, spends enough or not. I can change, uh, increase or decrease my target CPA during time. And I put a maximum bid limit of $10. I don't want to spend uh, more than $10 for any keyboard. Uh, save my bidding strategies. Uh, let me get the recent changes uh, to get the uh, bid, shared bid strategy that I just created into editor. Okay, uh, for bid strategy, I'm using the one that I just created, target CPA, and 
I need to use the uh, connected shared budget that I just created. Okay, everything fine. Uh, search partners and display network. I'm going to disable them. Uh, frequency language targeting. I said let's all select from English. I change it to all. Location targeting. Uh, yeah, I want to target all of Canada and just people who are regularly in targeted location. I can provide my services to outside Canada. Many of my clients are mm, out of Canada act uh, actually, but for this campaign, uh, I want to start with only Canada and during time maybe I uh, target more countries. Uh, people in your ex I don't have any excluded location for this one. Uh, nothing to fish to add here. Anything else that I need? Negative keyboard list. Uh, I don't have negative keyboard list at the start, uh, so nothing to add here. I need to add some assets such as site links, call out, structure snippet. Uh, let's do that. Let's add some site links at account level okay uh, let's see what I have on my website I have one blog page one contact one resume and I don't really have many, anything else on my website to use a site link uh, let's just start with blog. Uh, for description, I can use something like Google Ads tips and tricks. Uh, I need two uh, two description latest advert advertising news, and I need to give a, a URL. Okay, the first one uh, is done. Let's add another one. I can add another for resume. Uh, let's say, uh, see my mm, resume or see my background. Ah, resume, I think, probably better. See my resume for description two. I can say, for example, certified and experienced. Mm. Mm, adding the link uh, as my URL. Uh, for descriptions of your site links, sometimes uh, many advertisers do uh, this technique and I do sometimes too, not in this campaign, but many times you have to line, you can, if uh, you can write a long sentence and write half of the uh, sentence in the first description and half of that in the second description. Uh, because if Google Ads shows your uh, show your site link and description, it will show both descriptions at the same time. It doesn't show only one description. So you can take advantage. Uh, I think for description you can have up to 35 characters yeah if you you have a long sentence you cannot come up with a short uh, sentence short uh, summary you can write a long sentence of 70 characters use half of that in the line one uh, the, the second half in the second line but they are connected to each other because they show uh, in one line in Google Ads when uh, Google shows your ad uh, as a best practice, uh, I need minimum of my site, uh, four site links. I don't necessarily need uh, three. I can even start without a site link. It just depends on me. But I rather, you know, start with all four site links. I can write something like my services and just give the home page as the final URL. Mm. Uh, my services contain search and shopping campaigns and display and video ads. Okay, uh, 
search and shopping campaign, display and video ads, and uh, let's uh, add uh, one more tool as a for for contact us. Contact me actually. Mm, contact me. Description line one. Uh, something simple like get in touch, uh, find uh, my contact information. And I can give my contact page. It has actually a form on that page too. So easy to track conversions. Uh, I can add call outs, extract snippets. Uh, Hmm, let's see what I can add for callouts. Account level, add a callout. Hmm. I can add things like certified experience, not experience, but certified, but uh, uh, maybe I add them later after I start campaign. I don't need them right now. Image extensions, I certainly need image extensions. I. Uh, uh, maybe I can upload some of my uh, profile pictures. I don't have prepared the right now in the right size and right dimension, right uh, dimension. So I don't add image extensions for now, but this is something that uh, it's really a good practice to start. For lead form, I don't need that because uh, I have a lead form on my website. I don't have location, so I don't need to add that. The only things that I need are site links, a structure as a snippet, callouts, and image extensions, and probably call asset I can give my phone number. For the start, let's start with site link. Uh, for the shirt link, there is an error, uh, call out, I need to delete that. So yeah, the basics of my campaign are prepared. I, uh, I am ready to upload my campaign and launch my campaign. I'm going to upload it as a pause because i don't want to upload to run the campaign right now i just wanted to show how i build a campaign uh, and i don't have any other error let's see if it uploads it with no error uh, all campaign yeah one campaign at five ad groups keywords locations canada only one five responsive uh, responsive search ads and four site links okay let's Post the campaign. Okay, it gave me one error on the campaign. Let's see what error I received. Mm. Mm, exclusion mode. Okay, this is a option, an option that Google has recently removed from its platform. People in or show interest in exclusion. But they haven't updated Google Ads Editor somehow yet. The default one was the second one, but I'm going to select the first one. Now it should fix the problem. My campaign wasn't uploaded right now. Now the campaign is uploaded to green and no error. Now let's go check on the platform. Go into the campaign page. Yes, my campaign is here. It is paused and everything must be uh, there according to what we created in the editor. I have my ad groups and keywords and I have my ads which are probably under review right now. Yes. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I wanted just to show you how I approach building a campaign and I hope you learned useful tips. If uh, you have any questions on how to create a campaign, you can leave in the comments. And I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel or like my video, as it will help uh, my video appear more on YouTube search results. Thank you.